Hi, I'm Kyle from Darcy's Meats. We're a locally owned butcher shop. We've got a location in Edmonton and another location in St. Albert. And today we're gonna go talk about some ground beef. Okay, come follow me. We're gonna go check out the back room. If you look at grocery stores or big box stores, typically they're gonna be using like pre-ground product or preserved product from the grocery store. So they're gonna use gas inside packages to extend shelf life to maintain the red color that you see here, which is oxidization. So as we ground these fresh, they turn red after a little bit of time. And then, um, you know, that can be preserved using packaging and gases. Come to a butcher shop, you're not gonna have any of that in these. You're gonna have a tray like this in the showcase with fresh meat on it. You're gonna ask for a pound or two. We'll scoop it up, wrap it for you. You're gonna take it home and it's only gonna stay fresh in your refrigerator for about a day, maybe two. At the grocery store, you might find that the best before dates on your ground beef are up to two weeks uh, in length. And that's because of you know special packaging or, or gas preservers that help to maintain its, its freshness and its red color. You might take fresh meat home and you might you know, break into it and say, oh my goodness, the inside is gray. Something must be wrong with this meat. Why is it not red? If that happens to you, that's simply because oxygen has not been able to penetrate uh, into the meat to turn it red. So let's, let's smash into one of these and let's see if we have a gray looking inside because this was only ground about an hour ago, you know, before we started shooting the video. So it's not gonna be it's not gonna be old meat. This is about as fresh as you can ask. So let's see if that's happened here. Okay. So you can see, yeah, there we go, perfect. There's some very, you know, undesirable color. Now, that is because this meat hasn't had an opportunity to oxidize. So if we were to leave that exposed, you know, over time, that discolored looking stuff is gonna turn red as well. So a little bit of science. But that's something that I think is very important. A lot of consumers have come across that at some time in their life and maybe they didn't understand why the inside didn't look fresh. The fact of the matter is the inside hasn't been exposed to oxygen and that's why the color hasn't changed yet. But when I was a kid, I did a lot of dishwashing and floor mopping and started out like 12 or 13 years old. And then I remember my dad started, I uh, used to bone out pork legs to make sausages. So that was my job to take the skin off and take the bones out. I started around 13 or 14 years old and we used to have this old hand crank sausage machine and when my dad's arm would get tired he'd call me over from dishwashing and he'd say you you crank the sausage press it's your job now because i'm too i'm too tired to continue sometimes we'd go out for dinner or we'd go walking through the mall in st albert and he'd get stopped three or four times and i always remember thinking like you know my dad's some kind of hero uh, you know, doing all these people know who he is and they, you know, they appreciate the work he does as a butcher. And I think, you know, at that time I didn't really understand why that was happening. But as I get older now, I understand that, you know, you know, people are very connected with their food and they, you know, we need food to survive, but we also use food to celebrate and to enjoy life. And, you know, so butchers and bakeries and, and food businesses are a very important part of you know, every human being's life. I didn't know it then, but that was, I always looked up to my dad and thought that was really cool. And I think as I got older and now, I definitely want to make sure that I can continue that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in and taking some time to learn a little bit about ground meat. Place an order for your custom blend and then you can enjoy some interesting new flavors and textures in your recipes. But me and my boyfriend were at Safeway and someone pulled us aside and told us to get our meats from here. So I'm checking it out. I'm looking for beef brisket. Sometimes they have it there, sometimes they don't. So I decided to come here because I looked on the site and I seen they, that they had brisket, so. <laughs> and it's amazing that we have a place that's so close to us that can still keep up a very small volume of some very specialized items. You know, it's really, it's really neat to have that in our community. So I'm all for it.